The sixth claim. The truth of the oral Torah given to Moses could only be in one opinion, not many opinions, if it existed. In answer to this, that's correct. The oral instruction from Sinai was not disputed in the Mosaic court. The Talmudic sages agreed as to what the oral instruction from Mount Sinai constituted. For example, there was no disagreement among them that the oral instruction regarding the command to bind frontlets between one's eyes was that the command is not merely metaphorical. There was only lack of clarity regarding a few details of the oral instruction from Mount Sinai, and the conflict of opinion was not considered due to multiple opinions originating from Moses, but rather due to the great turmoil and distress of the latter generations, the increase of persecutions and heresies. In the case of conflicting opinions, the majority ruled. The vast majority of Talmudic debate is over clarification of rabbinic law to be applied in new situations, not over oral law given to Moses from Mount Sinai. The distinction between these two types of oral teaching has already been elaborated upon in the previous clips. The seventh claim. The Mishnah does not solely speak in the name of Moses. This reason for rejecting the oral law would only be valid if the premises of this argument were also true. But it's false. The Mishnah does not claim to speak solely in the name of Moses. This argument is based upon a misconception of what the Mishnah is and what its purpose is. This has already been elaborated upon in the earlier clips. One cannot justifiably reject a thing due to a reason that is not true concerning that same thing. Why don't Karaites have a problem with accepting the book of Proverbs, the book of Psalms, and many other books of the Hebrew Bible, the Tanakh, which do not contain the words, thus say the Lord, or, and Moses wrote these words, or, and thus said the Lord to Moses. But when it comes to the Talmudic literature, suddenly this is a big issue. I definitely look forward to hearing feedback, and hopefully myself, become more enlightened as to the reasons behind uh, Karaite Judaism and any other information about them which I'm not yet aware of. My desire in making these clips is only to clarify misunderstandings even if those viewing do not necessarily agree in the end. But at least, if and when we disagree, we should disagree about facts which truly exist and not be disagreeing about things which are simply misconceptions and misunderstandings.